Steve, let's start with talking about how the UK's legal net zero targets have transformed, or not, your sector, the electrotechnical sector. Well, I guess they're in the process of transforming. I mean, the headline target, you know, net zero by 2050, is symbolic. I don't think in its own right it does anything. People are shrewd enough to, to see that as, as not being the specific driver. But there's a lot of things that are coming out from that now that are making a big difference. So, um, for instance, the decarbonisation of the grid, um, not being able to sell petrol and diesel cars by 2030. Um, will drive a big need for infrastructure. Uh, people are having to focus more now in businesses on their own carbon footprint. Investors are much more conscious of ESG um, and of course the cost of energy generally, although not directly related to the legislation, is making people think hard. So what does that mean in real terms for your members? It means there'll be lots of opportunities for them to get involved in this. These things aren't going to be done unless there's a solid supply chain there, full of people that know what they're doing and have the resources to deliver it. So lots of opportunities. Tell me a little bit about the role that you feel the electrotechnical sector has to play in this journey. I mean, clearly there are other industries where this is far more important and far more necessary for them to comply. But what role do you play here? Nothing is going to happen without a capable supply chain. So our role is critical. You know, I would say we're the foundation for delivering on this agenda. If, if transport is going to be electrified and heat is going to be electrified, then the supply chain are the people that are going to do it. We talk about the role that you need to play. What needs to happen for, for the industry to play its full role in this? Well, we need uh, an environment that businesses have confidence. Um, we need uh, an industry that has the adequate skills and, and the resources, the capability to deliver on this work. We need a business environment that is supportive of it. And we need uh, technical standards that um, enable us to um, do the right thing to the right quality in a safe way. And what are you doing as an organisation? What is the ECA doing to enable your members to make the most of this opportunity? I guess a simple answer is uh, a lot. Uh, we tend to break it down into two areas. One which is around support and advice and the other is around influencing. So we're doing a lot, uh, providing a lot of guides uh, and support tools, um, webinars, training to help people identify where the opportunity is and, and then prepare to make the most of it. And we're working with government, industry, broader stakeholders to make sure they understand some of the implications of all of this so that together we create that right business environment.